All right, so let's take a look at another example where we want to re rearrange letters in uh, that are non-distinct. And but this time we're going to use the formula that we learned in the last example. So how many different words, real or imaginary, can be formed using all of the letters of Mississippi? So again, first we want to count how many times each letter occurs, and then we can use the formula. So there's only one M. There are one, two, three, four I's. Uh, one, two, three, four S's, and two P's, which gives us a total of two, six, ten, eleven letters. So that means, remember, in the numerator we have our total number of objects factorial divided by the number of times each one occurs factorial. So divided by one factorial times four factorial times four factorial times two factorial. So now if we just expand this, we get 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. All of this divided by a 1 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. All right. So these 4, 3, 2, 1 can cancel with these. 4, 3, 2, 1 here. Um, we know that t uh, 4 times 2 is 8, so that can cancel with that. Uh, 3 times 2 is 6, that can cancel with that. Everything else that we're left with in the denominator is a 1. So we're left with 11 times 10 times 9 times 7 times 5. So 11 times 10 times 9, times 7, times 5. If you plug all of those into your calculator, you end up with uh, 34,650. So there are 34,650 different ways that we can rearrange the letters in the word Mississippi. Um, and remember, again, we used this formula. It says it's n factorial, which is your total number, divided by n sub 1 factorial, all the way times n sub k factorial, where just these represent the number of times that each object occurs in your original arrangement.